A meeting for folks looking for answers and resources about immigration wrapped up moments ago. Those who attended took part in a conversation about the immigration system and its impact on families and communities. WSLS 10's Bree Jackson is live from the Jefferson Center where the meeting was held. So Bree, there's been a lot of concerns about immigration in our community recently. Absolutely, Lindsay. And these are some of the people that came out to talk about their concerns and to get answers. And there are worries about the potential impacts of a potential immigration ban. Now, lawyers today spoke about what can be a lengthy and complicated process of getting a green card. At some countries are refugees and they get immediate help. Sylvia Bush became a legal immigrant decades ago and now works with Roanoke Social Services to help others do the same. I want to inform them what they can do and not to be afraid. Bush was among church groups, lawyers, law enforcement agents and others who gathered at the Jefferson Center to learn more about legal and illegal immigration. I think it's really important that we stay informed and really understand um, objectively what's going on in our country. Lawyer Christine Porch specializes in immigration laws. She's seen the process of becoming legal change from one administration to another and says it can get complicated. Frankly, it is a little problematic depending on who you are and who your relative is or who you are and who your job is. Porch says the average wait time is seven years but can be even longer depending on factors such as the country you're from. She says it's important to educate people on immigration's impact on local communities. But I think it's critical to remember that there's approximately 7% of school children in the U.S. who have at least one undocumented parent. More than that, there's 40% of business creation comes from immigrant business creation. And by having these open discussions, people here hope to gain a better understanding of immigration and ways to help those from other countries gain the resources they need so that they're not living in fear. I don't want them to live like that. There's always a answer to the questions and the situations you're in, not to be afraid. And coming up tonight at 6, we'll hear from the Roanoke City Police Chief. I spoke with him about immigration and his department's role in public safety. In Roanoke, Bree Jackson, WSLS 10.